It might seem like laboratory experiments are the gold standard for getting evidence. In the lab, as many variables as possible are controlled, so there are no unexpected influences on the outcome of the experiment. And variable control is the main goal of experiments. But this also has a downside. Lab conditions are very unlike real-world situations. So something that works in the lab might not work in the same way, or might not work at all, outside of it. These advantages and disadvantages of laboratory experiments can be better understood with the concepts of internal and external validity. Experimental design is a major challenge in science. Attempting to strike the right balance between testing the thing that you want to test and testing the thing that you can test is very tricky. This is further complicated by the fact that the controlled laboratory environment might be necessary for your experiment to work reliably, but that might undermine its relation to the real-world phenomenon you're attempting to learn about. For example, imagine you wanted to test how well a new cleaning solution works compared to a commonly used brand. In the laboratory, the obvious experiment to do would be to compare them by carefully creating the same stain on a sample of carpet, controlling for temperature, lighting conditions, humidity, and anything else that you can think of, and seeing how well the same amount of each of those cleaning solutions does in cleaning that stain. Let's imagine you find the new cleaning solution works better on this stain in the laboratory experiment. If you were to run that same experiment again, under the exact same conditions, it seems very likely that you would get the same result the second time. After all, nothing has changed. This is what is referred to as a high degree of internal validity. That means that inside the laboratory, under those controlled conditions, your experiment is valid for telling you about which product is more effective. High internal validity means that under the same conditions, you are very likely to get the same results. This is because you have effectively isolated the relationship between the two variables you're interested in, the product and its ability to clean a stain. However, while this experiment might tell you something about how well your product would work outside of the lab, it certainly doesn't tell you everything. There are countless real-world factors that make it the case that the new cleaning solution that worked better in the laboratory works less well or better outside of the lab. For example, it might be the case that your new cleaning solution worked better on the stain it was tested on, but works less well on other kinds of stains like grape juice versus dirt. Or the new cleaning solution might lose its efficacy more quickly than the other one, or be impacted more by UV light, or maybe its smell makes it the case that people tend to use less of it than the competitor. All of these factors have been controlled for in the laboratory experiment we're considering, and so these kinds of differences aren't reflected in the experimental results. How much the experiment tells us about the real-world phenomenon we're interested in is referred to as external validity. If an experiment has high external validity, that means you can be confident that the results you see in the lab will also happen in other situations, including the real-world environment. Some laboratory experiments have high internal validity and high external validity. For example, testing the aerodynamics of a new car design in a wind tunnel has high internal validity, and it also has high external validity. Because, even though most extraneous variables have been controlled for, they are very unlikely to have any impact on the real-world performance of the design. If you think about it, the aerodynamics of the car won't be impacted much at all by lighting conditions or humidity. But we can't know the same is true for our new cleaning product. There are two ways a scientist can attempt to increase external validity. The first is to run a series of experiments that each test a different factor that may play a role in the performance of the product. In each new experiment, they can vary certain parameters of the experimental design to see whether that has an impact on the outcome. For example, in your lab research on the cleaning solution, it would be pretty natural to run experiments trying out the solution on different kinds of stains, grape juice, dirt, oil, and so on. The picture that researchers are able to assemble out of all of these different experimental results will have a higher degree of external validity than the single experiment that held all these factors constant. Another way to ensure external validity is to test the product in an environment that is as close to the real-world situation as possible. This can even go so far as conducting field experiments, which take place in the real environment in which the product will be used. In many cases, this is the most effective way to increase external validity, since factors that the experimenter hadn't even considered could be discovered. Paradoxically, controlling for fewer variables, at least directly controlling fewer variables, can lead to a better experiment. 
This is a little like the concept of beta testing software. Give the product to real users who will run it on their computers at home or work to see how the software actually performs in real-world use cases. In that way, developers can learn a lot about how the software will perform and what improvements still need to be made. Different scientific questions will require different experimental techniques. Experiments with high internal validity and external validity are both extremely useful, and ideally an experiment would have both. Sometimes what kind of experiment is best to conduct depends on what you want to know, and sometimes it depends on what is possible. High internal validity shows that the experiment has effectively established a relationship between the two variables of interest. High external validity means that the experiment has given you reliable information about how that relationship plays out in various circumstances, including out of the laboratory in the real world.